Yeah, good afternoon, students. Uh, welcome back to our uh, webinar session. Uh, today, we are uh, starting with uh, the waves that is related to concept point of view. In the morning, we discussed uh, only conceptual uh, discussion that is uh, IP point of view. Now, just uh, whatever the concepts we discussed in the morning, so related to that, some uh, MZ related problems we try to solve. And uh, before that, we'll discuss some more uh, important formulae. See here, equation of plane propagative wave, propagative wave, okay, progressive wave here, progressive wave. So equation of a plane progressive wave. Here in the morning we discussed why is the displacement of a particle that depends that is a function of both time and position we discussed. So that will be expressed like this. Y is equal to function of Vt minus x represents the progressive wave moving along positive x direction. Okay. If uh, the wave is moving in the positive x direction, this is negative is given here. Similarly, if the progressive wave is uh, moving along the negative x-axis, along the negative x-axis, then here comes the expression plus. So y is equal to the of vt plus x. So here, if a traveling wave is a sine or a cosine function of at minus bx or at plus bx, here a and b are constants and t and x are variables, time and position, then the wave is called harmonic wave or plane progressive wave. Plane progressive wave. Okay, I'm repeating if the traveling wave is a, either a sine function or cosine function, then that uh, called as a harmonic wave or progressive. Now, the equation for a simple harmonic uh, plane progressive wave is a propagating along the positive direction of x axis. So, the equation for a simple harmonic to plane progressive wave propagating along the positive x direction. So here is a, the wave formation that is propagating along x axis. Propagating along x axis. So already in the morning we discussed what all these parameters that we discussed amplitude, okay, wave length and all. So here uh, wave is moving along x axis. The y is a function of both uh, position and time. Right. These are what are uh, uh, related to the progressive. Now, these are the different forms of uh, uh, wave equations that we come across while uh, solving the problems. And uh, y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. Okay. So, where t and x are variables. And omega and the k are constants, so values are there are uh, already in, uh, in the morning we discussed. So y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. And also a sine k vt minus x. And it is also another form of wave equations. Now, in this equation where y is the displacement of the particle located at the position x at the time t. See here, y is always is the displacement of a particle along y direction. So that indicates this wave equation itself is what it explains the position of a wave at a particular position at a particular time. Right. So where x is the particle position in time, 
and k i told you is a constant propagation constant k is equal to 2 pi by 11 it's a constant k is equal to 2 pi by 11 and the equation for it's a final expression the equation for a plane progressive wave propagating along the negative direction of x axis okay negative direction negative direction of x axis is remember whenever uh, the wave is moving along negative direction the plus will come here so that is what y is equal to a sine omega t plus kx so this is most important wave equation so most general wave equation that is y is equal to a sine omega t plus kx and in the wave we need to discuss one more parameter that is wave velocity so the distance traveled by the wave in one second is called wave velocity I'm repeating in the morning also we discussed the same that the distance traveled by the wave the distance traveled by the wave in one second is called wave velocity so within uh, uh, one second how much distance is covered is called the uh, uh, velocity of uh, that particular wave and the expression is equal to that uh, displacement by time the uh, wavelength by time wavelength is what wavelength is what is uh, uh, distance covered by the particle to complete one cycle that is wave velocity that v is equal to lambda by t and the lambda by t means uh, here is uh, all also can be written in terms of this uh, frequency into lambda the frequency that knows that is a reciprocal of the time period that is 1 by t is equal to frequency right and uh, similarly we can rewrite the same in terms of uh, uh, this one omega by k so v is equal to omega by k so all these are the different forms of wave velocity so situationally as per uh, the problem see what the data is given the problem so in that way we can use the any of uh, these formula and the wave velocity depends on the nature of the medium i'm repeating the wave velocity depends on the type of medium and it doesn't depend on nature of the source right so wave is coming from where is not important but the wave is moving in which medium is important so as uh, uh, the, see here the wave velocity whenever the ray is moving from one medium to another medium that means the velocity changes in particular uh, waves so here the wave velocity depends on the nature of the medium and this it uh, doesn't depend on the nature of the source here. and here so uh, as per this discussion here when a given wave passes from one medium to another given wave passes from one medium to another medium it's a frequency doesn't change it's a frequency doesn't change the velocity and wavelength changes whenever the uh, wave passes from one medium to another medium the frequency doesn't change the velocity and wavelength changes so velocity why velocity changes because the, whenever the medium is changes there will be a change in velocity so once the velocity is changed, the wavelength is also can be changed. Here, see, v is equal to lambda by t. Okay, and uh, if you can see this velocity and uh, this one is uh, directly proportional. Of course, here uh, depends on the medium. Okay, so it depends only on the medium. So here, so the relation in this case, the relation will be v one by v two means uh, uh, the wave is moving uh, with uh, different media. Okay, so V1 by V2, the ratio of V1 by V2 is nothing but ratio of uh, uh, wavelengths here. See, look at this expression here, V is equal to F lambda. So, V1 changes, lambda changes. So, what is the constant here? Frequency is constant. That's what is here. The frequency does not change. So, frequency is the constant. And uh, for uh, ratio of these two waves, uh, okay, so always be constant here. Right. And... Uh, the next one is uh, during one complete time period. Okay, the during one complete time period, capital T, the displacement of the particle is zero while the wave velocity, the wave travels, 
Entende? Wave travels a distance lambda. A distance lambda. Right? Wave travels a distance lambda. C is given. <coughs> you should understand what is distance and displacement here. Right? So it is uh, during one complete uh, uh, time period, one complete time period for a particular uh, T value. So displacement of the particle is zero, but it uh, travels the distance uh, lambda. That you should understand that the display the distance between the uh, displacement and distance. If you see in the wave to complete one cycle, okay, for example, it is started from origin from zero. It completes one positive half cycle, half cycle means one positive peak and in the negative also one complete another cycle. Then what happens? After completing one cycle, again it is along the mean position. Means mean position means along wherever it is started at zero, ends at the zero. So then what happens? Uh, displacement is zero. Whereas it is covered some distance that is, is nothing but wavelength. So it is covered the wavelength, but uh, uh, displacement is zero, right? So it is uh, only for during one complete time period. And one more uh, important uh, uh, phenomena parameter is uh, phase here. So phase is also very, very, very important that in the uh, wave equation. Uh, Phi is equal to a sine uh, a sine bracketed term is there no so omega t plus r minus k s we have a wave equation y is equal to uh, a sine bracketed term omega t plus r minus k x. that bracketed term is a, is nothing but what phase wave so in the plane progressive wave in the plane progressive wave uh, it uh, bracketed term is nothing but bracketed term is nothing but phase wave now this phase of course, in the morning we discussed the phase uh, explains about the position of the particle in the wave. That may be with respect to time or with respect to the position. So we have uh, phase can be explained in two ways with respect to time and with respect to uh, position. So likewise, we have two expressions: uh, phase in terms of uh, time and phase in terms of uh, uh, position. Here are the two expressions. So phase change with the time. So I'm repeating phase is nothing but the identifying the position of the particle in the given wave. If it is in a particular time, is a phase change with the time. And if it is at a particular position, the expression will be phase change with the position. So the phase change at a given point in time interval, delta t is, which is given, some particular time interval is given. So this is what change in time is equal to delta pi. So pi, I told you, this is a expression for the phase. So change in pi, that is change in pi. So change in phase is equal to two pi by t delta t. So here the expression is in terms of time is given. So this is a phase change with the time. Very, very, very important. Delta pi is equal to two pi by t delta. And similarly, here the phase change with the position, phase change with the position. So the phase change at a given time for a change in position means at a particular time, what is the change, change in position? Okay, is given in the same expression that is 2 pi by lambda delta x, delta x. So we observe the two expressions, one is in terms of delta t, another one is in terms of delta x. So these are the basic uh, uh, things. And uh, today we'll, re, uh, we'll see some related uh, problems. Uh, means, uh, uh, so far we discussed that is a wave equations and all. Only related to wave equations we'll discuss. And uh, later on the, we'll discuss the remaining problems related to the stationary waves, the strings and all. And then beats uh, and uh, Doppler effect. We'll uh, see if time permits, we'll try to complete uh, you see all the uh, topics related to that. And now we'll see some uh, problems related to the wave equations.
So here is a problem given a wave traveling in the positive x direction, right? Having the displacement along y direction as one meter. The wavelength is given two pi m, means two pi meters, and frequency of one by pi hertz is represented by right. So what is the expression? What is what is asking here? The wave is traveling in positive x direction. Positive x direction. Then we should understand what will be the framing of the expression. If it is moving in positive, what will be the framing? That already we discussed in the very beginning. The first point itself is that only. The direction itself is a sign. You can confirm the sign here. <laughs> right. And having the displacement along y direction is one meter. Displacement along y direction is one meter. One meter displacement along y direction. What is the definition for amplitude? It's from the mean position moving y direction. Okay, vertical motion that is amplitude. And a wavelength is two pi meters. Wavelength is given two pi meters and frequency is given one pi hertz. So using this information is asking to frame uh, a wave equation. So which 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 one is the uh, correct answer is asking. So here is the solution. The standard equation of a wave traveling along positive x direction is given. Okay. So I told you that whenever there is in a positive x direction, so minus will come here. Okay, here minus. So uh, the options will be means uh, as per the uh, what's that the reduction method. So what's that uh, B, C, and A are possible answers. Okay, B, C, and A are possible answers. So here, so first option, first means first point is to be understood is. Whenever the wave is moving along the positive x-axis, the negative sign will come. And in this expression, A is an amplitude, K is angular uh, wave number, and omega is the angular frequency of the wave. So these in this information, these parameters we require. Okay, right? A is required, K is required, and omega is required. So in the given problem, A is equal to one meter. Already is given in the problem. Along the y direction, the displacement is given one meter. That is nothing but amplitude. And omega is given two pi meters. Okay. And so uh, frequency is given. Frequency f value is given. Okay. Omega uh, u, u is given. That is one by pi x. So using this information, so what uh, uh, formula we have? K is equal to two pi by lambda. Means first. A is already fixed one meter and K that we don't know, but we have an expression K is equal to two pi by lambda, right? And here lambda is given two pi. So two pi by two pi. So substituting the values here. So we are getting one here. So K is equal to one. So in this place, K, we are keeping uh, K value here, one X minus omega. So omega, that formula we know, omega is equal to two pi, mu means frequency 2 pi mu so mu value already is given 1 by pi so 2 pi mu into means 2 pi into 1 by so this one this one gets cancelled then you are getting 2 value so omega you are getting 2 so in this expression k value you got 1 and omega value you got 2 so substituting the values in this expression y is equal to so the equation to given there means y is equal to a means what 1 sin in the place of expression one is given k right minus two t so simply sine x minus two t is the answer right okay so this is the way uh, we need to see see this this uh, this kind of problems means these uh, models are very 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 important uh, frequently as this kind of model okay so this uh, so they will give some values and ask to uh, frame in the wave equation. You will see uh, one more type of uh, wave equation here. The two waves are represented by the two waves are represented by um, yeah the equations. Yeah, two equations are given here. Y one is equal to a sine omega t plus kx plus some values added 
is nothing but phi value. Is nothing but phi value. Phi means what? Phase change. Y is equal to A sin omega t plus kx means it's a general wave equation. Because two waves are given here, so there should be some change. Right? See, the two waves are represented by equations. One wave, one wave equation is this, and another wave equation is this. Both are given in meters because it's a vertical displacement. And where x is uh, in meters and t is in seconds, then phase difference between them is. They're asking phase difference. What is the phase here? See, a sign is there. Here, a cos is there. And the difference we should not understand. Okay. And here, one phase extra is there. And here, how much is extra that we need to calculate? Right. So here is the procedure phase change. Okay. What else requires? See, phase difference is asking phase difference. So uh, same equations y1 is equal to a sin omega t plus kx plus this much. And here phase value is given pi1. See, the bracketed term is assuming as a pi1. Bracketed term is assuming as a pi1. And similarly, y2 is another equation is in terms of cos. Okay, so a cos omega t plus kx, then we are converting this into sine format. So from sine to cos exactly 90 degrees, that is pi by 2 value. So pi by 2 is the difference between sinusoidal function and the cosine function. So that much of phase difference is the, between sine to cosine. Okay, if you need to convert this cos value, okay, so exactly 90 degrees, it will be converted. So a cos omega t plus k is that we rewritten as a, a sine omega t plus kx plus pi by 2, then this will become cos. Okay, if you add this phase, change is up to pi by 2. See, observe these two equations. Now, this bracketed term, we can make this as an a pi by 2, sorry, pi 2. Okay, see, phase is a uh, phi here. The phase, uh, next uh, phase uh, difference for second equation is pi 2. That is equal to omega t plus kx plus pi by 2 here and here for first equation omega t plus kx plus 0 0.0 0 0.57 is already given the top. So what is asking phase difference? So that is phase, change in phase is asking. So change in phase that is delta pi is equal to pi 2 minus pi. Okay. So using these equations, what are the differences here? So this one, this one gets cancelled, this part and this part. And what else is remained? Pi by 2 minus 0 0.57. So pi by 2 is a 22 by 7, that is 3.14 bit there, and 3.14 by 2 is again it is a 1.57. So here 1.57 minus 0 0.57 is a one radian. Okay, because it's a phase, the angle will, uh, will be measured in radians. So here is uh, the answer for this is a uh, one ring is asking phase difference. So I hope you understood this. Okay. So only thing is what the parameters are given in the problem that we should understand well. Okay. So very keenly you need to observe sine to be converted into sorry cos to be converted into sine by adding uh, pi by two. Okay. So this is the the process to solve the problem. Here, uh, what is the formula here? Phase difference. Just we made a difference. Here. That's right. Right now we'll see the one more problem. Here is the problem, a wave in a string, a wave in a string has an amplitude of two centimeters. I'm repeating, there is a wave in a string, has an amplitude of two centimeters is given. Now the wave travels in the positive direction of x-axis. The wave travels in a positive direction of x-axis. So each and every term is important in this with the speed of 128 meters per second. So velocity is given. And it is noted that five complete waves fit in four meters length of this string. Okay, and the equation describing the wave is, 
right? So there is a string of an amplitude is given, is moving in positive x-axis is given, is moving with a certain velocity, and there are five complete waves fit in the four meter length. So length of uh, this uh, wire is also given. So now, uh, which of the following describes this uh, problem? He's asking that which of the following equation describes this wave? So here is uh, uh, the solution uh, is given C here. First thing, first thing is positive x axis. Then, then our answer should be in terms of negative. Remember. So the uh, B and D will be omitted and you concentrate on these two. Okay, elimination method. And then our answer should be between A and C only. Right. Now concentrate on this. So amplitude is given to centimeters. So centimeters in given, convert that into meters. And velocity is given meter per second. It's okay. And the lambda. What is lambda here? Lambda is given 4 by 5. 4 by 5. Look at this. The problem is given. Five complete waves fit in four meters length. What you understood? Complete waves means complete cycles. So within four meters, there are five complete waves are existing. So total wave length per five loops or five uh, oscillations, five complete waves is within four. So that is four by five is equal to 0 0.8 meters. So this is the wave length. Actually, the problem in the problem is not directly is given. See, the length is given, then number of uh, cycles are given or uh, there in the string. That uh, we can calculate like this. The lambda is equal to lambda is equal to what length of the means uh, total length by uh, what that how many are there? So total. See, for, for four meters, there are five loops are forming or five uh, oscillations I mean cycles are forming here. So here we are getting 0 0.8 uh, meters is the wave. And velocity, sorry, not velocity, sorry, uh, it's, a, it's a frequency. So frequency is what? Uh, uh, v by lambda that we know expression, V by lambda. Okay, mu is equal to, frequency is equal to mu by lambda. Okay, so sorry, uh, is that, uh, V by lambda. So V is already given in the problem 128 meters per second and the lambda value just now we calculated 0 0.8 meters. So together we are getting uh, 160 uh, heads. Okay. One second. Yeah, 160 heads you are getting here. That is 128 by 0 0.8. Yes. Now, uh, omega is equal to, see, first of all, we have an a wave equation y is equal to a sine uh, kx plus omega t, a plus or minus here, minus omega t is an expression. So, in this, we need to obtain the a value kx means k value and omega t means omega value we need to calculate okay and uh, after getting the, all those values we are trying to make the wave equation here y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t all these are the similar form wave equation only so in that we are calculating here a value k value omega value right so here omega we are trying to get omega so omega formula is 2 pi mu 2 pi mu so 2 pi is their new value just now we calculated is the 16 or uh, 160 heads here so uh, 2 pi into 160 heads that you are getting uh, 1005 1005 you are getting okay this is what uh, omega here right and k value we have the formula 2 pi by lambda and 2 pi by lambda just now calculate it is 0 0.8. So getting all these values and substitute in the form of a wave here. 
and amplitude is already given with the two centimeters that convert that into meters as per the uh, you know, equation means as per this uh, options are given here your answer should approach along that so that y is equal to a is already common meters is given sine so which one is matching here uh, 15.7 have you got 15.7 no 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 here so these two are uh, omitted and they were uh, what uh, uh, k value is 7.85 here also both are 7.8 wise and uh, uh, what else uh, omega you are getting 1005 so in both the cases 1005 is there and which one is correct here c and d which one is uh, correct here so both the values are same so which one is correct c already is given in the problem the wave is traveling in a positive direction of the x so so positive direction gives the negative sign so C option is correct. So all, of course, all uh, the problems are very easy if you understood uh, the concept. Okay, conceptually, if you are strong and using very small, small expressions, then you can solve the problems very easily and definitely uh, easily from these uh, uh, what uh, waves concepts you can get more. And we'll see one more uh, uh, problem related to this. A transverse wave is represented by the transverse wave is represented by this expression y is equal to a sine omega t minus kx. For what value of the wavelength is the wave velocity equal to the maximum particle? Particle velocity. For what value of wavelength is the wave velocity equal to maximum particle velocity? Right? What value of wavelength means at what wavelength both the wave velocity and the particle velocity will be equal. Okay, so at what wavelength both will be equal to maximum particle velocity. So is uh, asking to relate these two. Okay, so here is uh, the expression means the solution for this is the given wave equation is already is given. And expression for wave velocity, we discussed in the beginning, particle velocity and wave velocity. So here wave velocity V is equal to omega by K and the particle velocity is dy by dt is a function of problems. If you derive this one, okay, if you derive this one, see it will become particle velocity dy by dt, that is A, okay, with respect to T we are doing, so sine will become cos and omega T is over with respect to T, no? so omega will come and is the bracket. Means omega t minus k. So this is what is the particle velocity v t velocity of the particle is equal to dv by d, and the wave velocity is equal to v is equal to omega by k. Now maximum particle velocity, maximum particle velocity, maximum means what? Uh, here a omega cos of something. A omega cos of something. So if this is something means the cos, uh, uh, how much it is, uh, cos 90, right? It will be one, mm. cos zero, okay? Cos zero is one. So cos zero is, uh, here is a value. So this bracketed value is uh, uh, zero angle, then we're getting A omega. So what is that particle velocity will be more means maximum at uh, this point. So according to the given question, according to the given question, what is asking? V is given, okay, for maximum value, omega by k is equal to, relating these two, wave velocity to the particle velocity at a maximum, uh, maximum angle, okay? That's what maximum particle velocity this will be maximum right so using this the using one and two equations we are getting this expression that is v is equal to means v in terms of this thing so equating these two right so how much you're getting here so one by k is equal to a and one by k means k is equal to two pi the lambda that we know that uh, is uh, lambda by two pi okay so that's, that is a and finally what is asking uh, what is asking actually relation what, at what wavelength we ask at what value of wavelength the wave velocity is equal to maximum particle velocity so 
the answer is lambda is equal to 2 pi a. So lambda is equal to 2 pi a. It means at this wavelength, both the wave velocity and the particle, maximum particle velocity will be reaching the condition. Okay, reaching the condition. So this is about uh, the, this is also what at a particular uh, wavelength, what will be the relation they're asking, okay? So what uh, wave velocity and particle velocity related equal at a particular wavelength is asking. So we calculated the wavelength here. And we'll see one more uh, problem, okay? So the transverse wave, the transverse wave propagating along x-axis is represented by y is a function of x comma t is equal to 8.0 sine 0 0.5 omega x minus 4 pi t minus pi by 4. So this is wave equation moving along x axis. And where x is in meters and t is in seconds, then the speed of the wave is asking speed of the wave is asking. The options are meter per second, so velocity is asking. Okay, so just as given only wave equation, that's it. So with the help of this, so we try to get the velocity. And we know the velocity expression here, the bottom one, V is equal to lambda E. So this is an expression, V is equal to mu lambda and uh, in the problem, lambda is not lambda value is not given, mu value, frequency value is not given. So to get uh, these values from this expression, that's it. See, all the equations are ma majorly all the problems will be like this only. See, uh, the problems from the waves means first portion, first portion, that is transverse wave, mechanical waves. So wave equation related, all the problems will be asked like this only. So we have V is equal to lambda mu is the formula. And uh, to substitute these values, we are trying to get from the given equation. So the for, uh, problem is Y is equal to 0 0.8 sine. This is what? Kx minus omega t minus pi is in this form, yes sir. Which form it is y is equal to a sine kx minus omega t minus pi. This is in the form of wave. So we know all the terms here. So this is what amplitude, this is what k, and here is what omega, and here is pi. Value. So compare with the standard equation. Here is the standard equation y is equal to a sine. Omega is written like this. Omega is 2 pi by lambda. Omega is written like this. Omega x minus uh, so k. Omega is uh, kx minus omega. No, no, k. 2 pi by lambda. Yeah. So 0 0.5 omega, uh, pi is in what? As uh, kx minus omega 2 pi by t into t plus pi. So this is original equation. Now we get 2 pi by lambda is equal to already value given 0 0.5 pi, 0 0.5 pi. And from this, can we get the pi value? I mean, lambda value here. So, lambda is equal to, lambda is equal to 2 pi by 0 0.5, 0 0.5 pi. So, this, this gets cancelled and 2 pi, 0 0.5. The 2 by 0 0.5, you're getting 4 meter. So, you're getting lambda here, right? So, in our formula, B is equal to lambda V. So lambda we got using this relation that 2 pi by lambda is equal to 0 0.5. We just we compared the standard equation to the, the problem is given. So this value. So we are getting lambda is 4 meters already. Now, next is what uh, uh, 2 pi by T, 2 pi by T. Here, omega 2 pi by t is equal to, how much is that? 4 pi. How much is that? 4 pi. So, this is the standard equation 2 pi by 2 pi by t. And when the problem is given 4 pi, just equate them. Okay. Therefore, how much are you getting? t is equal to 
two pi by four pi. Then you're getting one by two seconds. Means this is in terms of time period. This is in terms of time period, and we know the reciprocal of the time period is nothing but frequency. Okay, so mu is equal to or frequency is equal to one by t reciprocal. So one by two you got here. So two hits. So substituting these two values, you're getting so eight meters per second. So this is the wave velocity. Okay, so hope you are understood this. And uh, only thing is. Uh, uh, problems looks very hard, very difficult. But when once you are comfortable with the uh, formula and concepts, then it will be uh, very easy. Okay. Uh, see, not that much simplifications also are not there. Only the concept, only the idea. If it is uh, working, then uh, it will be very easy. Easily can score uh, uh, the rank here, right? And uh, the next one is uh, next. If you see um, the phase difference. Next problem, we'll move on to the next problem. The phase difference between the two waves represented by the phase difference between the two waves represented by the two equations are given. Phase difference already is given here. So y1 is equal to 10 power minus 6 sine omega t plus or that x by 15 means 1 by 15 to x. Means kx plus 0 0.5 means pi meters. So this is one wave equation. And another wave equation y2 is equal to 10 power minus 6 cos 100t plus x by 50 meters. So both the equations are given. See what is asking? Phase difference between two waves represented by already phase difference is given like this. Now what is asking uh, x and t, x and t or uh, uh, expressed in uh, what meters and time is approximately. So phase difference will be how much is asking. Okay, so phase difference, right? Now we'll see the answer here. Phase difference. And already the similar problem we, uh, we have done the beginning of the contract. See, y1 is equal to is given sine omega t plus means omega t plus kx. Phase difference is phase is 0 0.5 extra is there. And y2 is equal to same amplitude is same 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 6. And here sine component, here is a cos component. And remaining rest all, all same, but here just a uh, 1 by 2 is added, okay, and uh, here uh, sine uh, is uh, difference is sine to cos. And already we know the method to convert from means uh, what is the angle to convert this is pi by 2 already we know. So, for first one is uh, 10 power minus 6, 10 power minus 6, okay, sine omega t plus x by 50 plus is pi by 2, right? Next, 10 power minus 6 sine 100t plus x by 50 plus pi by 2 value is how much? 1.57. Already we have done this. So, just we converted this equation, just we converted y2 expression in this format. Means conversion means cos to sign adding pi by 2 only. Okay, cos to sign adding pi by 2. The difference between them is 90 degrees. Now, this pi by 2 here is uh, okay. So, further, if you change like this, then it will be 1.57. Then what is asking finally the phase difference? What is asking phase difference is from phase difference that we know. So change in pi is equal to pi two minus pi one. So this, for example, pi two that is hundred means the same expression. This one this will be cancelled. Okay. So this y one this component. And the y2 this component similar terms, no? So minus we are doing subtraction here. 
So these two will be cancelled. And what else is remained? 1.57 minus 0 0.5 is remained. Okay. So the difference is 1.05 radians. 1.05 or 1.07 radians you are getting. So this is what uh, the solution for this. Okay. So this is the way. Uh, yeah, I hope this is the second uh, problem uh, with the same model. Right. Next, uh, we'll uh, move to the next problem. See, the equation of wave is represented by y is equal to 10 power 4 sine omega t minus kx means 1 by 10 into x meters. The equation of wave is this. Now they are asking velocity of wave. Velocity of wave they are asking. Okay. See, uh, observe carefully. Here itself is giving some information. A is what? 10 power minus 4. And omega is what? Uh, 100. And 1 by t is what? K. Right? So, using this information, we have uh, the solution here. Comparing the given equation with the general equation, y is equal to a sine. This is general equation in terms of time period and lambda. Okay. So it's a general equation. Say I in the very beginning I have given some uh, uh, wave, some different types of wave equations. So I told you, you know situationally we use uh, the wave uh, equations here. So this is in which format is the ratio format is there. So we are considering this. Anyway, it's a velocity of a wave is asking. So, <clears throat> so comparing the, the given equation with the general equation. So we are getting uh, how much you are getting. So y is equal to a sine. This general equation. A means what? 10 power minus 4. And sine 2 pi is multiplied. See, some 2 pi is added here. Originally, we have a sine, a sine omega t minus kx only. But here, the original is say 2 pi. So, you add them, means multiply individually to them. So, multiply individually the 2 pi with the individuals here. So, look at this. T by T is the original expression. Minus X by lambda. The original expression. See, X by lambda. And small t by capital T. Right? So, small t by capital T, we should multiply this with the 2 pi here. So, 2 pi into 100, 2 pi into 100. Here it is a 1 by t, no? So, 1 by t. So, take out t here. So, only t means how much it will be? 1 by t means what? Is a 2 pi by, we are multiplying the 2 pi with this. So, 2 pi by 100 is nothing but capital T over here minus x by 10 minus x by 10 x means what k x k values how much now k values how much now 1 by 10 but it is what 1 by lambda but lambda is what 10 and we are multiplying the multiplying with the 2 pi so it will be 2 into 2 pi into 10 here 2 pi into 10 so it will be 20 so, the information we got from this problem, T and lambda, T and lambda. So, what is asking? Velocity of wave. Yes, those two equations, if you got, see, V is equal to mu lambda is the formula. And uh, what about this time period T is equal to 2 pi by 100 is there, but we need the formula frequency that we know is the reciprocal of time period that is 100 by 2 pi. So substitute the, these values in this expression that V is equal to uh, mu that is 100 by 2 pi into lambda is 20 pi. Uh, totally how much it is uh, is a 10 remains so 10 into 100 will be 1000 meters per second. Okay so 1000 meters per second. So these are the uh, basic uh, example problems and uh, you try to solve uh, uh, this kind of problems uh, and uh, 
uh, in the next class, we will try to complete a few more uh, important uh, problems related to some important concepts. Okay, so uh, let us stop here with this uh, problem and uh, thank you very much and we'll continue in the next class.